I'm Dr. Scott Norton, a practicing endodontist in Louisville, Kentucky. Part of why I love endodontics is the challenge that comes with the anatomical variances that present themselves. Every case is different, so I get to put my training and experience to work on every patient to determine the shape and direction and the size of the canals. A tool that I found to be indispensable is my Detect Apex Locator. I've tried them all and I really like this unit. It's small, it's sleek, it's easy to read. And most importantly, in my hands, it has a reproducible accuracy second to none. Let me show you how I use it in my practice. When I'm getting my initial length, I start with a number eight or 10 hand file. Of course, I've already made the educated estimate of the working length, thanks to the radiograph. I gently work my hand file down the canal. When I get about halfway down, I will get out the detect connect the lip clip like so. In this case, I'm using the hook connector, but in some more difficult to reach cases, I'll use the fork connector to make contact with the file. The big screen clearly shows me where I'm at as I carefully negotiate the canal. I always go very slowly through the initial signal. When you're confident that you're in the neighborhood of the apex, slowly back the file out. Now you're fine tuning your apical measurement, working back and forth, watching the screen, listening for the audio clear. When you're satisfied that you've zeroed in on the apex, set your rubber stopper, pull out the file and then record your length. I'll do it twice. Then I'll move on to the next canal. I really like the screen. It is the most colorful, vibrant screen out there. It reminds me of my iPhone. Here, you can see the red apex light up on the screen. I slowly back off, and you can see the numbers. I like to be between the 0.5 and the 0.1 millimeter, and I'm right there. And before I instrument, I want to get a confirmation x-ray because of the complex anatomy that I regularly see. There are times when I find a fourth or fifth canal or canals that join and I have to reach back and grab my apex locator again. And if I suspect the canal is exiting somewhere other than the radiographic apex, I'll get another confirming measurement after I've done my instrumentation. And for me, the three different sounds give me the option to just listen to the device and keep my eyes in my microscope. I'm glad I've got the detect apex locator in my arsenal. You might just find that your endo cases are a little more fun to do with the confidence that this little tool can give you. Give it a try.